Hi class, good morning, good day, and good evening to everyone. Welcome to our first virtual class in grade 10 mathematics. So this is our first module, module 1, entitled Generating Patterns. By the way, I am Ranel C. Fernandez, one of the teachers in grade 10 mathematics. Together with me is Mama Marie Anti Salisi. She's handling other sections also in grade 10. So are you ready students are you prepared so before we'll proceed to our discussion you need to prepare the following of course the module one know your notebook your activity notebook your ball pen and of course yourself so before we'll proceed to our discussion so reminding everyone that please check your modules if you uh, you received four modules Okay, for the whole week, we will discuss four modules. Module 1, Generating Patterns. Module 2, Illustrating an Arithmetic Sequence. Module 3 is Determining Arithmetic Means and End Term of an Arithmetic Sequence. And lastly, the Module 4, Finding the Sum of the Terms of a Given Arithmetic Sequence. Okay, so I need you to observe the following pictures. Okay, let's check the first figure. Sorry, the first picture. Okay, how about the second? Okay, the third one. Okay, you have to describe, you have to study, you have to observe what's the picture all about. Okay, how about the fourth one? Okay, the third one. And lastly, these numbers. Okay, so what did you observe? Okay. So as you can see, there are patterns. Now, very good. Now there are patterns. For this module, we are all pattern investigator. Now we are all PI. No. So for the module one, okay. So let's proceed now to the lesson one: finding the terms of a sequence. By the way, we will be discussing two lesson for the module one. So. Let's discuss first lesson one, the finding the terms of a sequence. Okay, so in your module, we have there, let's explore. Okay, number one, you have to study the figures. Okay, we have five figures. So you have to study and we will answer later the two questions, A and B. I will give you five seconds to study the figures. Okay, so as you can see in the figure, as you can see in the figure, okay, so there are five figures, right? So we have this is this one, this one, and this one. Okay, so do the figures show a pattern? Describe it. Okay, so as you can see in the figure, the first figure has three sides how about the second test four five six and seven so as you can see the pattern is increasing by one right from three to four to five to six and to seven draw the next figure okay so what should we expect for our next figure of course from 7, the next figure should be, okay, with 8 sides. So, this is an octagon. Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay, so 8 sides. Okay, so the pattern there is you just add 1. Okay, the, the size is increasing. Okay, next. Okay, what is it? So the set of numbers and figures in the previous activity are called sequence. Okay, each term in a sequence is called a term. So a sequence is a succession of numbers in a specific uh, or logical order. So take note with our definition of sequence. Okay, next. So each term of a sequence can be represented as follows. Okay, so this this one 
is read as a sub 1 and it represents the first term of a sequence. This, here, this one is read as a sub 2. It represents the second term. This one is a sub 3. This is the third term. This is read as, this read as a sub 4. This is the fourth term. And a sub n. This a sub n. It represents the nth term or the last term of the sequence. Okay, a sequence is a function whose domain is the finite set. Okay, again, the finite set with elements 1, 2, 3 up to n or the infinite set 1, 2, 3. Okay, and so on. Below are examples of two types of sequence. Okay, sequence A, we have 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. And sequence B, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, and so on. Okay? So, you have to observe, no? Observe the two sequences. Okay? Okay. So, sequence A is a finite sequence. Okay? This one is a finite sequence because it has a last term, which is 18. Okay? Our last term is 18. And sequence B is an infinite sequence because it has no last term, which means it continues infinitely. So as you can see, here, the three dots here is called ellipsis. Okay, ellipsis. It, uh, it represents that it is continuous infinitely, meaning it will go forever and so on and so forth. Okay, so this is an infinite set. Or infinite sequence and this is a finite sequence okay writing the first few terms of a sequence so a sequence is usually given by starting the general rule okay stating sorry stating the general rule or its nth term hence we can find its next few terms okay so let's check our understanding using the example one so write the first five terms of the sequence whose n term is given by a sub n equals 2n plus 1. Again, we need to find the first five terms. So we need to uh, find our first five terms. So a sub 1, a sub 2, a sub 3, a sub 4, and a sub Five. So, our a sub 1, since this is a, a, a sub 1, our n here is um, 1. So, a sub 1 equals 2 times 1 plus 1. So, a sub 1, this is 2 times 1 is 2 plus 1 is 3. So, this is our first term. Second term, since this is our second term, a sub 2, our n here is 2. So, a sub 2 equals 2 times n is 2 plus 1. Again, you just substitute to your general rule or the general term, okay? So, a sub 2 is 2 times 2 is 4 plus 1, that is 5. So, this is your second term. A sub 3, so n is 3. Very good. Okay? So, a sub 3 is equal to 2 times 3 plus 1. So, a sub 3 is equal to 2 times 3 is 6 plus 1, 7. So, your third term is 7. A sub 4, n is equal to 4. So, a sub 4 equals... 2 times 4 plus 1. This is 8. This is 8 plus 1 is 9. So this is our fourth term. Then a sub 5, n is 5. So a sub 5 equals 2 times 5 plus 1. So, 2 times 5 is 10, plus 1 is 11. 
So, our fifth term is 11. Okay. So, therefore, therefore, the first five terms of the sequence are three, sorry, five, seven, nine, and eleven. Okay. Sorry, Leo, okay, no? Okay, so therefore the first five terms of the sequence are three, five, seven, nine, and eleven. Okay? So let's proceed now to the second example. Okay, so what is the tenth term of the sequence defined by the formula a sub n equals n sub 2 plus n minus 1? Okay, we need this is the formula. Again, the question is what is the tenth term? Okay, again, only the tenth term. Okay, so in example 1, we need to find the first five terms. So therefore, atong pangitaon ang a sub 1, a sub 2, a sub 3, a sub 4, and a sub 5. But for example 2, we need to find only the tenth term. So therefore, a sub 10. Okay. So here, our n is 10. So we just substitute that to our general rule that is a sub 10 equals 10 squared plus 10 minus 1 so 10 squared is 100 very good again maybe some of you cannot think now this is 20 again this is 10 times 10 okay plus 10 minus 1 so therefore 100 plus 10 is 110 minus 1. So therefore, our a sub 10 or the 10th term is 109. Okay. So therefore, our therefore our 10th term, the 10th term term of the sequence is 109. Okay, so let's proceed now to our example 3. So which term of the sequence given by a sub n equals 3n minus 6 is 42? So meaning Unsa daw ning, ikapila daw ning 42 given the sequence. Okay? So, therefore, a sub n is equal to 3n minus 6. So, we need to find our n. Okay? Meaning, ikapila, if, kung pangitaon na itong ikapila, that is n. So, our a sub n is 42, meaning our last term. Okay, this is our last term. Why n? Because which term? Meaning, ikapila daw ning 42. Ikapila siya sa sequence. Okay? So, therefore, a sub n is 42. So, that is 42. We just substitute. Is equal to 3n minus 6. So, what should we do? Okay, so to eliminate negative minus 6 here, we will add both sides by plus 6 here and plus 6 here. So it is 42 plus 6 equals 3n minus 6 plus 6. Okay, addition property, no? That is 0. So 42 plus 6 is 48 equals 3n. Then divide both sides by 3. So therefore, until, therefore n is 16. So therefore, 
42 is the 16 term of the sequence okay so maybe you're asking on sani ni diri nga part no kani nga part we will just use addition property of equality or we are used to use the word transpose right so our goal here is to group the with variables and without variables so in this expression okay in this expression we need to transpose the negative 6 to the other side right so that is it will become 42 okay this is negative 6 so it will become plus 6 equals 3n right okay ito mangi transpose ng negative 6 so may mo siyang plus 6 so this is 48 equals 3n so it's just the same with n equals 16 okay so that's for example 3 activity notebook you will answer what's more a and b page 7 and what i have learned a page 7 okay so you can um, pause this video and you can answer on your own thank you so much so let's proceed now to our lesson 2 finding the general rule or the end term of a sequence so in the previous lesson you had listed the terms of a given sequence provided with its general rule however listing a few terms of a sequence is not enough to determine its general rule rule or nth term but you can make the predictions by searching for a pattern however there are sequences whose nth term are difficult to predict and that is why it is necessary for you to learn our next topic okay example one find the general rule or the nth term of a sequence 1 4 9 16 25 and so on so we need to find a general rule given the sequence 1 4 9 16 and 25 okay so 1 4 9 16 and 25 okay so this is our a sub n no? this is these are our terms so our n is meaning our first term is 1 our second term is 4 our third term is 9 our fourth term is 16 and our fifth term is 25 and so on okay so given that this is our sequence no so we need to find our general rule so given ang n is 1 how did we get 1 given ang n is 2 how do we get 4 Okay, from 3 to 9, from 4 to 16, from 5 to 25. Okay? Big unsan na nato pagkuha ka mga A sub N. Okay? So, given nga kana sila, mamugin na permi ang kano, magsugod ta sa 1, 2, 3, meaning our first term, second, third, fourth, fifth, and so on. Okay? So, yun sa mani pagkuha ka na. So, from 1, maybe that is just 1 times 1, right? 1 times 1 is 1. How about 4? Okay, very good. That is 2 times 2. Yung nakakuha siya og 4. How about 3? Okay, that is just 3 times 3. Nakakuha din siya og 9. Kung 4, that is 4 times 4. Nakakuha din siya og 16. And then, 5, that is 5 times 5 to get 25. So, if we have 6 here, so that is just 6 times 6, that is 36. So, therefore, what is our general rule? Okay, given nga inanya itong pag-solve sa a sub n. So, diba, to get our a sub n, we'll just multiply n times n, right? n times n. 
So therefore, a sub n is equal to n squared. So therefore, our general rule is a sub n equals n squared. Okay? So yun okay, no? Diba? From here, from our n, we will multiply it by itself. Para makuha na ito ang mga a sub n. Para makuha na ito ng kanina sequence. Okay? That's for example 1. Example 2. What is the n term of the sequence? 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on. So the same with example 1. Our terms are 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on. No? This is our a sub n. Our n is, of course, we'll start with 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on. Okay. So you observe from here, from our n, no, from our n, yun sa yung pagkuha ang atong a sub n. Given ang n is 1, yun sa yung pagkuha ang 2. That is just 1 plus 1. Very good. No? We're going to get 2. How about 2? It is just 2 plus 1. To get 3. From 3, how to get 4? That is 3 plus 1. To get 4. Then 4, that is 4 plus 1 to get 5. If we have 5 here, of course, our a sub n is 6. Okay, we will just 5 plus 1 is 6. How about 7? Or sorry, 6, that is 7. So, to get our a sub n, our general term or our general rule, so therefore, that is just n. Then we will add the constant 1. So therefore, this is our general term. Okay, so a sub n equals n plus 1. That's for example 2. So for our last activity of the module 1, answer the additional activities on page 16. So you can pause this video for you to answer our activity, our last activity of the module 1. So congratulations and you're done with the module 1. Thank you and happy learning. See you in module 2.